guys, I have three of the Briar Fest Diana model. This is the Roxy in that real pretty um, glossy chestnut. Uh, silvery, maybe silver bay. I don't know. Chestnutty color. We'll see. Uh, she was really pretty and she had a lot of variations from what I saw between like a loose mane and a braided mane and then um, I believe a pinto and I have no idea if there were others. Uh, but I have three of them here so we'll open up and see what we have. This is product number 711345. From what we saw, this model Diana was, um, let's see here, the second to sell out probably in the, the print line after um, the banner model, who was totally awesome. Uh, this is the Roxy Hole. She is a, I don't know if she's loping or cantering. Like, let's say she's probably um, loping. She's a uh, stock horse, so um, a bit heavier set. Stockier, not not heavy like the giraffe, obviously. She appears to have a wreck on her mane and tail, and this looks like uh, the braided version. I'm trying to remember um, all the colors and the variations that the Roxy came in when she was the surprise model, and like the name of that surprise model is just completely um, not coming to mind. But it, it was a pretty, um, they had pretty colorful colors. There was a gray Tobiano, I think, and a chestnut Tobiano, and an Appaloosa, and a dapple gray. And then I think there were the glossies and the mattes. But I don't know that they had the main variation. I want to say that the dapple gray had a braided mane and the rest had a loose mane, but I'm probably wrong, so don't take my word for it. Um, this girl is a very, very pretty bay. She has the braided mane and the braided tail. And she has a glossy finish three white socks, um, a cute little star and snip on the front of her face there. This seemed to be um, just um, one of the more common uh, color colors for the Di Diana mold with, with the paint being the rarest. I think um, the pricing on the, the loose mane is a little higher right now just because I think of popularity, but I think when they do a breakdown of the colors, we'll see that it was an even split between the braided and the loose, but you never know, because they haven't announced it yet, and I have been wrong in the past. So that right there is Diana on the Roxy Mold. Oh, and she has Briarfest 2019 30th anniversary stamped in gold in her on, on her underbelly. I am really glad this model isn't in a brace, like the Hero Surprise, because, well, braces can kind of be a pain in the butt. I am actually really surprised that um, the cat has not come up here and stolen her things yet. We have a kitten right now who's about four months old and she loves this type of so, like, her favorite thing. So the ones with the, uh, the braces and the twist ties. It's really hard to get those twist ties on from becoming the cat. This one appears to be uh, the same beautiful bay color and she does she looks like she might have dabbles. I'll have to take a look at that in a minute. I might just end up cutting this tape um, to make it a bit faster. Uh, I don't know if anybody cares about the original tape, but it is a lot easier just to cut the tape. This is the nicer, thicker bubble wrap that the um, tape doesn't really rip when you uh, take it off. So it is nice. Ooh, and if this is the loose mane. She doesn't have a wrap on her tail, but she has the wrap over her ears. This one um, has, a, I think, less red tones than the other one, but let me uh, package this wrap up and then uh, we'll take a look at it. This is the loose moon version. Um, if there were any major flaws, Briar was doing the exchanges right there, Briar Fast. So uh, hopefully none of these guys had major flaws. You can see there's a little kind of goober in the gloss on the top of her rump there. It's not a big deal. Uh, she has the loose mane and the loose tail. So just to give you a quick peek at that. 
Um, this is the loose mane, and that's the braided mane, and then the tails. This is the loose tail, and this is the braided tail. Their color is pretty similar. This one's a bit lighter. She looks like maybe she had um, a really, really super faint shoulder rub, and then um, was glossed over, but that could just be a lighter area of pain because you certainly don't see any of the white plastic uh, showing through there. So far we have one loose mane and one braided mane, Diana. We have one more to go. Don't think I left myself enough space here. And this one is definitely another solid color. My guess is that um, the rare color variations were 30 across the board. I'm not sure if that was officially announced by Briar, but everything I've gathered says that the, um, the rare colors had 30 produced. And I, I believe the rare on Diana was a, a pinto color. This color is really gorgeous. I hope Briar continues to use this color because it is super pretty. This is a braided mane. I'm wondering if maybe just the braided tail versions had the bubble wrap on the tail since it's um, thinner at the top. Maybe they didn't do the, the, the loose mane with the bubble wrap. So that is our second braided Diana. she is um there's a vin number on the the back of the left hind hoof which is i believe required for the models that are produced in china and it probably helps them with their quality control uh i have not opened many models from briarfest 2019 yet but i haven't seen a, people mentioning a whole lot of like big flaws of course they're going to have you know typical factory flaws but i am I'm, I'm thinking that the quality was fairly decent on um the Briarfest special runs this year oliver has a beautiful kind of brown undertones to his coat he's not like solid black um where his pinto spots aren't because he's black but um but he has brown undertones so not just like a flat black he's really quite pretty So we have the two braided main Dianes, and then we have Diana. What's her name? Now I am having a complete brain fart. Okay, let's look at the back. Diana. So the um, the color seems pretty similar on all these. Um, I'm happy with them. I think they're pretty. That's all I have for you guys right now. Thanks for watching.